Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Tengo problemas con mi computadora. Se acaba de arruinar. Oh, my goodness. I'm good sorry. Evening. Me apagó y estoy con el celular, así que hoy va a ser un poco más dificultoso. Oh, my God. I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry. Yes, voy a llorar. No, please don't. O sea, estaba muy caliente la máquina. Sí, creo que sí, porque está haciendo un gran calor y como teníamos ahí otra. La niña la pasa eh, todo el día, la ocupa. Sí, eso está pasando, porque con este calor las máquinas están... A mí se me acaba de arruinar una también así ahorita. Oh, no, pero no puedo. Demasiado no. caliente. ¿eh? No acepto que it's, se me arruine. It's really hot. Lo que yo hago es que la uso de vez en cuando y de repente la apago un ratito y después la vuelvo a usar para que medio se enfríe. Sí, correcto. Ah, o sea, no. Yo por lo menos allá a las... Por usarle y conectarle. Casi a las seis la apago y la vuelvo a encender ahorita para que yeah, alcance un par de... I do the same, exactly. So in the morning I do the sí. same. En la mañana igual hago lo okay. mismo porque en la mañana calienta más, entonces la enciendo, en un receso la apago, la vuelvo a encender. I'm, I'm doing that. I do that. Eso ayuda. Eh, sí, es más, sí. Este, te, tengo ahí un, ¿cómo se llama? Hay unas cositas que son para, para ponerlo en, en, en las partes de, que se ponen en la refrigerador, que tienen como, como no sé, como de qué material está hecho, pero lo ponen en la refri, pero es para golpes. Ah, Ajá, ya, que, ya. Es, que se no. pone a helar. Ajá, como una sé. gel, es como una gel para helar. Sí, Pero yo se la cierto. pongo abajo de la máquina donde está la... Y se, se, llaman, se llaman compresas. Compresas. Ajá, es unas que contienen gel, o sea, no yes. son desechables, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y eso me ayuda de repente cuando está muy caliente, se la pongo. Y eso que tengo ventiladores de, para las máquinas y todo, siempre caliente. Ya, yeah, it's, it's really hot these days. Es que esos días yes. ha estado bien caliente. It's been really hot. Horrible like the last está el days. calor. Yes, sí, it's sí. horrible. Y ahorita ella había logrado entrar y a conectarme. Iba cuando solo escuché un ruidito y se apagó la pantalla. My goodness. Sí. Ahorita no intente encenderla, ya mejor déjela que descanse. Tal vez mañana le funcione, tal vez descanse, revive mañana. Desconectarla. Desconectarla, <risa> sí, porque la niña la, la ocupa ahí, recibe sus clases en Zoom. Sí, eh, desconectela y que no, no quede ni conectada a la, a la al toma corriente, a, al toma corriente Ajá. que no quede conectada. Ajá. Para que se enfríe. Uh -huh. Sí. Ponerle el ventilador, por cierto. El otro, el que está bien. Pues sí, <risa> así que tengo esa inconveniente. Ok, Eso don't worry. Grave. So you are connected <risa> with your cell phone. Yes, ahí. Okay. Check ahí the battery. Ahorita. Solo hay que revisar <risa> que esté cargado. No se vaya a descargar también. Soy... Sí, ahorita lo voy a poner a, a cargar y si no usamos otro. <laughs> okay, perfect. Nice. All right. Gracias. Okay, hello everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Good evening. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are Fine, you doing? Fine. Hello. Fine. Oh, this nice. Day, this day, the traffic was terrible. Oh my God, terrible. I imagine. Traffic plus heat, yeah. horrible, right? El tráfico más el calor is my God, it's horrible. Okay, so, uh, oh my God, I can see everyone is connected very early today. Well, almost everyone. Casi todos están conectados. Bueno, la mitad, más de la mitad están conectados temprano. I like that. I guess I am going to, to, to do this kind of activity so everyone gets connected very early, all right? <laughs> okay, let me pass the attendance quickly. Um, let's see, Ada Patricia. Present teacher. Adriana. Present teacher. La Michelle. Present. Miguel. Angela. Present teacher. All right, Asalia Melanie. Darwin. Present teacher. Good, Flor. Gloria. I'm here. All right, right on time. Carla. Margarita. Present. Very good, Maria. Present, teacher. Mayra. 
Present. Good, Nelson. Present. Ophelia. Ophelia. I saw Ophelia connected. Ophelia, hello. No, but she was, yeah, she's connecting, I think. Okay. It has oh. connected. Yes. Okay, Osmin. Present teacher. Very good. Rafael. <clears throat> Present. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Present teacher. Okay. Next we have Jansi. <clears throat> Present teacher. Surma. Present. And finally we have Miguel. Present teacher. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so everyone, so as I said yesterday, right? So uh, the idea in this moment is that you finish your conversation, okay? Yeah, so I guess everyone mm -hmm. started their conversation yesterday, right? Yeah, um, so the idea is that you finish it and you practice it with your pair. So when you finish, uh, we come to the main session, venimos a, a la sesión principal, and you share your conversation, okay? Algunas parejas comparten. Some, some pairs share your conversation, okay? Good. Um, okay. This is about yesterday, right? But for today, uh, we have a very interesting topic, okay? For today, we have a very interesting topic. It's about <clears throat> idiomatic phrases or idioms, okay? Do you know what is that? Or what that is? What is an idiom? Any idea? <laughs> or an when idiomatic spread, phrase? When, 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 you, huh? when you spell the same, but in another way. <laughs> I okay, think. that's right. When you say something, but the, but the translation is different, right? Like, mm -hmm. for example, imagine I say, uh, you are pulling my legs. Literally, literalmente sería, me estás jalando la pierna. You are pulling my legs, right? Yeah? You are pulling my legs. But the translation would be, me estás tomando el pelo. So the translation is different. So idiomatic phrases don't have a literal translation, okay? Las frases idiomáticas no tienen una traducción literal en, su, en la mayoría de casos, in the majority of cases, okay? We have many, okay? So for example, uh, imagine I say, oh, teacher, this homework is a piece of cake. This homework is a piece of cake. Ah. Literally, literalmente sería, esta tarea es un pedazo de pastel. Literally, okay? But it's not literal, okay? So the translation would be, es pan, es, es pan comido, right? So it's different, okay? And, and it's very important because yeah. imagine, imagine you want to say pan comido in English and you don't know the phrase. Y no saben la frase que van a usar. Van a decir, it's eaten bread. Es pan comido, literalmente, and it's not like that. Y no es así, en realidad, okay? Yeah? So this topic is very, very important, okay? So for today, uh, we will study some idiomatic phrases, okay? Ahora vamos a estudiar algunas frases idiomáticas, okay? But before, we need to finish yesterday's activity, okay? So uh, just tell me, um, I just want to know, okay? Just to, to for you to work with the same person, para que trabajen con la misma persona, necesito que me digan con quién estaban trabajando en orden. Okay. Les voy a ir preguntando. Ángela, ¿con quién estaba? Con Don Osmín. Ángela okay. yeah. en Don Osmín. Ok, eh, les voy a dejar eh, que elijan el grupo donde van a trabajar para que no haya confusión. Okay. So we have no confusion. So Ángela en Osmín van a ir al grupo 1. Ok. O okay. sala número 1. Ok. Yeah. Group 1. Okay. Good. Miguel, who was your pair? Uh, Mayra Melanie. Melan, Mayra Melanie. Is Mayra Melanie connected? Sí. Yes, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so you go to uh, room number two. Van a ir a la sala número dos. Okay, room number two. Okay? Yeah? Uh, Mayra Melanie, oh, yeah, she's here. Yeah. Darwin, who is your partner? My partner is Margarita. Margarita, so you go to number three, okay? Group number three or, or uh, room number three, okay? Adriana, who is your partner? Uh, Maria Estela and Ana Michelle. Okay, Maria Estela, Michelle and Adriana van a ir a la sala número cuatro, okay? Room number four. 
Manténgalo en mente, no se le puede olvidar. Don't forget this, okay? Good. And uh, now let's carry on. Jancy, who is your fair? ¿Quién era tu pareja? Ah, no, Jancy no, no estuvo. Es Gloria. Gloria, okay. Jancy y Gloria van entonces al 5. Number 5, okay? Room number 5. Gloria, hello. Gloria, hello. number 5. Room number 5, okay? Gracias. All right. Uh, now let's carry on. Maria, ¿con quién estaba? Who was your pair? With Michelle. 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 Ah, está con... Con, yes. con Michelle Adriana. y con quién dijimos? Adriana y, Adriana y Michelle. Ah, ok, perfect. Ok, good. Room Le four. Le dije al, al four, right? Room four. Nelson? Yeah. Rose. Rose, ok, con Rose. So you go to room number six. Yes. Van al room number six, okay? Group number six. Ana Michelle ya tiene equipo. Ada. Iba con eh, Azalia, estoy ¿verdad? Estoy con Azalia. Ajá, pero ella yes. dijo que no iba a poder estar. I think. I think she's uh -huh. not connected, okay? So, um, pero dijo okay. que ya tenían la conversación, me la mandó a mí. Así que don't worry, you can do it with me. Si quiere hacerlo, yo le puedo ayudar. I can do it with you, okay? So you go to number seven. Va, eh, Ada va al número siete. Room number seven, okay? Room number seven. Osmin ya tiene, ¿verdad? Yes. Osmin. Yes, teacher, in number okay. one room. In number one, floor. Room number one. Okay, floor. Yes. Um, con Rafael. With Rafa, okay. Room number eight. Okay, room number eight. Okay. Margarita has a pair. Carla? Hello. Hello. Who is your pair, Carla? Ofelia. Con Ofelia soy. Ofelia. Room number nine. Carla and Ofelia. Okay. Room number nine. Okay. El número nueve. Surma? Eh, yo creo que ya no estuve para esto, teacher. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Sandra Sandra Ah bueno, Surma y Sandra pueden trabajar juntas entonces Surma y Sandra, room number 10 Van al número 10, ok, room number 10 Ok, Sandra y Surma okay. En Surma, Gloria has a pair En Ofelia también ya tiene equipo, verdad Has a team too Very good, so just remember Please remember your room And when I give you access, click on your room, please, okay? Le hacen clic al, al grupo que les dije, to the, to the room I told you, okay? Are you ready? So, like, yes, how much teacher. time do you need to finish and practice? ¿Cuánto tiempo necesitan para terminar y practicar? How much time do you need? Vamos a hacer, perdón. Mm -hmm. How much time? I will explain to you, Zulma and Sandra, I will explain to you, okay? Ya voy a ir a explicarles cuando vayan a la, a, con su pareja, okay? When you go with your pair. So tell me, how much time do you need? Para Sandra y Zulma, sería bueno que por lo menos unos 10 minutos, así como nos dio ayer, para right. que ellas tengan. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So are 10 minutes okay for everybody? Are 10 yeah. minutes okay for everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so in 10 minutes, yeah. finish your conversation and practice, okay? And then we come and you present, okay? Good. So let's go then. Vamos entonces, let's go then. So just remember your room and click on the correct room, please, okay? Okay, choose your room. Elijan la sala. Choose your room, please. Donde lo selecciono, Tiche. Ahí les no. aparece abajito en, una, en cierta parte, pero if you want, I can help you. Which room are you going, Nelson? ¿A cuál room va? Six. Six, ok. Ok, ya creo que Rosa ya. Ok, ahí está. Ok. Thank you. Ausmin, which room? 
Number one. Number one. Number one. One, one teacher. Oh, okay, number one. Okay, now. Ophelia, which room, Ophelia? Teacher, en el nueve, pero no sé cómo. Okay, let me entrar. help you. Let me help you. Okay, there you go. Please accept okay. and enter. Is Angela connected with me? Yes, uh, I, uh, she had problem with the computer. Ah, yeah, she, she said it, okay. Yeah. Okay. And she had the conversation in the computer? Yes, uh, 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 in iPhone. Oh, okay. I see. But you have the conversation on your notebook? Uh, no, no right. You didn't write, oh my goodness, what a problem. Okay. Está intentando encender la computadora ahí entonces. She's trying to. Eh, eh, está buscándolo en, en, el, en el celular para, porque así le escribió. Hello, hello, ahí hello, no hello. Okay. Ahí hello, hay... Angela. Did you find hello. the conversation? Ay, sí, es que estaba buscando mi co la conversación que la tengo en el teléfono y ahora como voy a comprender más a los compañeros. <ríe> Cuando oh tienen su cámara apagada. Pero ya, ya la pasé a otro teléfono para luego no estarla apagando. Ah, ok, excelente. Eh, ajá, vaya. Do... Your support, check it. Your credential. Creo que sería check it. Ahí en review creo que es eh, check it. Check it, en vez de review. Review, ajá. Check it, así tal uh -huh. cual creería yo. Check it. Your credential. Así se lo... Hi girls. Hi girls. Hello. Hello. Uh, so let me let me explain to you what you're going to do. So basically, uh, you need to write a conversation, right? So this uh, is on page 32, activity six, okay? Page 32, activity six. So basically, um, you need to uh, create a conversation about a problem with some equipment in your workplace, okay? About problems with equipment or machinery in your workplace, okay? So, uh, as an example, como ejemplo, pueden usar la conversación que está en la página 31. You can use this example, okay? But you need to okay. change the problem. Necesitan cambiar el problema, okay? Yeah? Okay. If the problem is with the computer, right? Maybe you can, uh, you can talk about a problem with the printer. Maybe, right? I don't know, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, si gusta, Sandra, le puedo compartir mi pantalla para que lo hagamos. Okay. I will stop sharing. Yeah. Voy a dejar de compartir entonces. I will stop sharing. Yes. Muy bueno. O sea que vamos a hacer una oración similar a esta. Una conversación a conversation. similar a esta. Yes, ah, yes, sí. but with a different problem. With a different problem, okay? Maybe a problem with the printer or with some other machine, okay? You see, Sandra? Need, I need to, yes, I need to go. I need to go. To call supplier. Ah, no, no. Yes, oh. I need, I need to call a supplier. Supplier, supplier. A supplier. Ah, uh, supplier. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, please. It's missing, um, it's missing. I need to call a supplier. Okay. Or I need call. No, call, call. Okay. I need, I need. 
Okay. Please, I, I need you to speed thing out because I need car supply. Okay. Yeah. Maybe for the moment they have replaced the handset. No, they haven't because the problem happened a, my, a, minute, a minute ago again. By the way, I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope that they can fix the problem. Ya comenzó a llover aquí. Really? Fuerte. Ah, más volumen. <laughs> Gracias okay, a Dios. Good. Gracias <laughs> yeah. a Dios. Thanks, God. Sí. Thank God, yes. Okay, next, Rose, continue. Okay, okay. What's wrong with the telephone, Nelson? Hello, Rose. Well, I don't know. I have a conversation with my boss and I can't hear him. That's too bad. I have to call the telephone technician to check it. Please, I need you to still sing out because I need car supply. Yeah. Maybe for the moment they have replaced the handset. No, they haven't because the problem happened a minute ago again. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Right. I hope that I hope they can fix this problem. Teacher, and a question. What is what is pronunciation? Minutes, minute, minutes. Minutes. Minutes and is correct. In this case, it's not in plural, it's only a minute, a minute ago, okay? Um, I say a, minute, minute, a minute, minute ago, because yeah, minutes a minute in minute. plural. A minute, okay. no, it's in singular. Okay, it's it. oh, okay. Yeah. a minute. A, a minute. minute ago, that's right, a minute ago okay. again. Mm -hmm. It's correct, a minute. minute ago again. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Because okay. the problem happened, happened in past, ed, ah. happened. 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 Uh -huh. Happened. Uh -huh. Sucedió, because it's happened. in past. Happened uh -huh. with ED. Uh -huh. Happened, uh -huh. happened. ED at the end. Uh -huh. happened. Exactly. Uh -huh. Happened a minute okay. ago. Again, again maybe it's not necessary. Uh -huh. Happened a minute ago again. Mm -hmm. Happened a minute ago. Yeah, that's it. And, okay. and when the son say, because I need to call, or I need call a supplier. No, no, two. I need to call. I need two or to or I need call. No, I need to call. Uh -huh. I need, I to, need call. to call a supplier. Two. Uh -huh. okay. To call. Uh -huh. To call when a you, supplier. When, a supplier. Yes. Uh -huh. When you uh when you use two verbs in one sentence, it's called. Uh, yes. When I, I will give you a general explanation. Uh, yes. Okay. It's called. When you use two verbs. Okay, when you use two verbs in a sentence, the second verb, the second verb is with two. For example, I want to finish. You say two. I need to go. I decided to visit. Okay. Yeah. So the second verb is in infinitive or using two. Okay. That's important. Okay. Yes. All right. Continue. Thank you, teacher. Continue, Rose. You start. It's, it's raining here. What's wrong with the telephone, Nelson? What? <laughs> it's raining. Yeah. Sería salud. ¿Cómo? Eh, como que le respondan. Eso no es bueno. Aprovechamos de darle mantenimiento. No sé. Debería. Ajá, debería. Darle mantenimiento. Darle. Mantenimiento completo, pues. Should give. Completo. Ok. Ok, that's uh, not good. I should give it complete. My my thing next. Ah, y ahí sí me quedé con ese. Mantenimiento. ¿Cómo? ¿Qué chef? Mantenimiento. Maintenance. 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 
Do you hear me? ¿Se me escucha? Perdón. ¿Se me escucha? Sí. sí ok. Sí. Ok. Thank you. Que le responda. It's great. Entonces, al final, eh, uh, quería, eh, solucionamos su problema. Michelle, ok. Vale, vamos a dejar Michelle, ok. Vale, solo déjame cambiarle acá para que me quede. Uh -huh. This is all. Comenzamos. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, Miguel? Hello, Mayra. Well, I don't know. I have not signed. That's too bad. How about the keyboard? Have you checked the language? Yes, I have. And Michelle, the technician, have checked it too. We have not verified the rest of code worker. Bernard has had the same problem with your equipment. Equipment. Yeah. Equipment. equipment. Yes. Equipment. Yeah, I hear that. Has the IT support checked your credentials? No, they haven't. I opened a ticket to review the problem. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> it's very good. Just some observations, maybe. All right. Okay. Yes. Uh, you, you asked me to, to 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 hear you, right? So I have some observations for you. Okay. Um. Uh. Sorry. At the beginning, you said I have not seen, or what do you say? I have not. En el principio, I have at the not beginning. Singing. Singing. Ah, singing. Uh huh. Uh, what is that? No, I have not. Conectarse. Mm -hmm. but signed in. Signed in. Ah, okay. No me he eh, conectado. I have not signed in. It says signed Ajá, in. No, no me puedo conectar. Sería el problema. Se supone que. En no, ese no, it's, sentido, it's okay. You can say I have not. No me he conectado. Uh -huh. Okay, but uh, in this case, sign is with ed. Signed. Va con ed porque es un, el verbo va en pasado ah, participio. Sí, I have not signed. 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 So you put ed. Signed Al in. final de sign sí. le, pongo, le pongo ed. And you pronounce signed in. I have not signed in. Sign signed in. in. Sign in. Sign conecto in. ese ed, lo conecto con la in. I have not ah, signed okay. in. Signed in. Signed exactly. In. Okay. And uh, when you say Bernard, uh, you don't say your, you say his. Bernard. Ah. He's not your, you say his, all right? Read that part, please, again. Uh, Bernard, his, or... or no, no, read, read, read it as you have it. Le, léelo como lo tienes. Read it as you have it. Bernard, Bernard. Has had, Bernard has had the same problem with her equipment. Oh, with his. The with teacher, his. it's... Yeah. His, because he's Bernard. So the, the, the possessive pronoun for Bernard is his, all right? Bernard has yes, had okay. the same problem with his equipment, okay? His Con equipment. Su, mm -hmm. su de él, ha, su ah. de él. Yes, his, you say his. His equipment, okay? okay? His, his equipment, okay. Yes, and the negative answer is uh, no they have or no they, no they haven't. No they haven't. No they haven't. Ah, okay, Be, no, I'm, I'm saying because I heard no they have. So the pronunciation is no they haven't, Miguel, okay? No they haven't. Ah, okay. Okay. No, they haven't. No, they okay. haven't. Exactly. All right. Very good. Continue. Practice again if you want. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank, uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank right. you, teacher. Thank All right. You. Uh, cambiamos, okay. Mayra. Shane. Sí, sí, sí. Me dormía. No podía estar. Sí, híjole. Read what's wrong with the printer, Michelle. Uh, practicamos de nuevo uh, la conversación yeah. I, I want to listen to you I want to listen to you practicing okay 
Oh, what's wrong with the printer, Adriana? Hello, Maria Stella. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and the printer doesn't print. That's too bad. How, how about the ink? Have you checked card cartridges? Yes, I have. Uh, the technician has checked it too. Anna has had the same problem with her printer. Yeah, I hear that. Has the maintenance team replaced the cables? Okay, the cables? don't worry. Don't worry. The technician is coming. Mm. No, they haven't. Uh, okay. Don't worry, the technician is coming. Excellent. We need to fix it soon. All right, excellent. Very good. Uh, maybe just yeah. in the part uh, we, where it says, have you checked cartridges? You say the, the. Have you the checked cartridge. the cartridges, okay? T-H-E, okay. the cartridges. Uh, cartridge. Yeah, only that. The okay. rest is good, okay? Uh, okay, so... Yeah. Time is over. So if you want, you can practice one more time, okay? okay. Until the time finishes. Okay. Michelle, practice. Yes. Um, what's wrong with the printer, Michelle? Hello, Maria Stella. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and the printer doesn't print. That's too bad. Have about the ink. Have you checked the cartridge? Yes, I have. And the technician has checked it too. And uh, Anna has had the same problem with her printer. Yeah, I heard that. He does maintenance in replace the cables. No, they haven't. Okay, don't worry. The technician is coming. Excellent. We need to fix it too. Okay. Mm. Right on time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. All right, so uh, are you ready to present to the class? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so um, this time um, I will ask, okay, I will ask Mayra to give me a number. Okay, here I have the different pairs by numbers, okay? So let's see, Mayra, can you give me a number from one to 10, please? Any number? Number three. Number three, Darwin, all right? <laughs> yeah. Teacher. Yeah, yes, Ada. Fíjese que tenemos un problema con Azalia. Ella parece ser está trabajando, pero quiere decir salir ya del diálogo. Si podemos ser las primeras oh. nosotros. Okay, no problem, okay? So you can do it. Entonces, so Darwin, no sé Darwin. como Azalia, para, para conectarme con Azalia, no, no sé cómo... She's connected, I think. Azalia, hello. Okay. Acá estoy. Acá estoy, teacher. Van a presentar ahorita. Okay, Azalia, empezamos nosotros. Yes, ahorita. Okay, empiece, Azalia. Good evening. What, what happens to the Wi-Fi signal, Patricia? Hello, Azalia. Hold. Well, I do not know. I have time everywhere and it does not be a signal. What's a chime? How about the connection? How do you check it that alcohol cables are plugged in? Yes, Sorry. I have. And Mario, this technician has also reviewed it. We have not verified the rest of the device, Anna has the same problem with her network. Yes, I hear that. Has the maintenance team replaced the router? No, he hasn't. And my boss sends an email every week to report it. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. Hope you can fix this problem. Thank you, teacher. 
finished, oh teacher. God. All right. Oh my God, that's excellent. Thank you very much. So congrats, congratulations, good work, okay? Thank you for Thank you, sharing teacher. your conversation, okay? Thank you very much. All right, now Thank let's you. listen to Darwin, okay? So Darwin, who is your pair, sorry? My partner is Margarita. Hi. Okay. Okay. Darwin, what's wrong with the AC? Hello, Margarita. I have to get the AC. It's too hot. That is bad because the AC was to turn on always. It's true. I have cut the maintenance equipment. Oh, great. I hope they can fix the AC. Only that. Okay. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, excellent. Short but clear. Okay, thank you very much, Margarita and Darwin. Excellent work. Now let's see. Darwin, can you tell me a number from one to 10, please? Not number three, okay? Another number. Uh, number nine. Number nine, Carla. All right, Carla is number nine. So Carla. Okay. Your group number okay. nine. Ophelia. Comienza. Okay. I was in the phone. Okay. I did this in the fish, Carla. Okay. Hello, Ophelia. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere, and and it want to um. Ophelia. I does I was connection. I get cover a print in the paper. Yes, I have inclus inclusive I check the toner. Okay, I limit a driver. I will sit, I want to sit in pression. Okay, that's fine. I day no problem. I Happy and the in connection, inter a connection. Okay, thank you for your support, Ophelia. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for your presentation. Fantastic, okay, thank you very much. Fantastic thank work, you. okay. So just one observation uh, for Carla. Um, you want to say incluso, inclusive? That's what you want to say, Carla? I think you said inclusive or something, or no? Yes, what I do you have want? inclusive, no. Yeah, what, what do you want to say? Incluso, uh, um, yo, yo eh, eh, ah, el toner. All right, so you didn't say inclusive, you say even. <laughs> all right, even. even. I have, ah, I okay. have even checked the toner. Okay. I have even, okay? Not only for okay. you, for everybody, okay? Incluso you say even. E-V-E-N, even, okay? Even. Uh, even, okay. exactly. So you say, I have even, even check okay. the Okay, thank you. Okay. It's okay, it's my pleasure. So thank you very much, okay. girls. So fantastic, okay? Thank you for your work, okay? okay? Thank you. Good, so Carla, can you tell me a number from one to 10, please? Not three and eight and nine, another number. Number, number four? Number four, Adriana. Hi, Adriana. Okay, teacher. Okay. Hi. Mm -hmm. Who is your pair, Adriana? Hi, Estela. <laughs> okay, she's ready. She's ready. Yes, I'm ready. What's wrong with the printer, Adriana? Hello, Maria Estela. Well, I don't know. I home uh, check it, check it, check it everywhere, and the printer doesn't print. Uh, that is that too bad. How about the ink? Have you checked cartridge, the cartridge? That's too bad. Uh, how about the in how to check it the car 
cartridge, cartridge, cartridges, cartridges, <laughs> the cartridges. Yes, I have. Um, the technician has checked it too. Anna has had the same problem with her printer. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the, the cables? Okay. okay. Uh, no, they haven't. Okay, don't worry. The technician is coming. Thank you. Excellent. We need to fix it soon. <laughs> uh, change the, the roles. <laughs> Only that. So, so you want to do it with different roles? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, you need to say, Adriana, you say cables, okay? Cables. Cables, cables, okay? cables, cables, cables. The pronunciation, okay, is cables, okay? So, uh, so uh, Maria and Adriana, thank you very much. Congrats, congratulations, okay, great work. Thank you very much for sharing, okay? So your problem was with ink, right, with the cartridges. Okay, very good, thank you very much. So Maria, tell me a number from one to 10, please. 17. No, no, from 17. one to from no listen from one to ten. From one to ten. The lunar years from one to ten. That's too big. Uh, number ten. Sulma. Uh, Sulma, did you finish your conversation? If you didn't finish, don't worry. Sulma? I no teacher, I didn't finish. Okay, but... okay don't don't worry. Don't worry, it's okay, no problem. Okay, but but okay. you said but. Okay. Number nine. Okay, thank you. But you said so. <laughs> we write a little. It's okay. Podemos leer lo que lo que pusimos. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Adelante. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with the printer machine, Sandra? Hello, Sulma. I don't know. I have checked it in everywhere and I saw and high a paper. That's too bad. The problem is the paper is inappropriate because it's too much. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. So, but, but you were doing good. Even, even being, you were doing good, okay? You are doing good, okay? Maybe <laughs> you can take some time to finish it later, okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, don't worry. Okay, okay thank you very much. Uh, so, great, good good job, okay, thank you. Okay, let's, let's see, uh, Sandra, can you give me another number from one to 10? Sandra, tell me a number from one to 10, from one to 10. Seven. 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 Ada, seven, seven is Ada. Seven. Seven is Ada, okay? So Ada, are you ready? Ah, Ada presented. Hicimos las primeras con Azalia. Yes, it's yes, right, remember. Sí, sí. Thank you, thank you. Con Azalia, la primera. Yeah. Yes, it's okay, six. don't worry. Six. Okay, six then. Nelson. Yeah. All right, who is your pair? Are you ready? Yeah, you start, Rob. Okay. What's wrong with the telephone, Nelson? Hello, Rose. Well, I don't know. I have a conversation with my boss and I can't hear him. Too bad. I have to call the, I have to call the telephone technician to shake it. Please, I need you to speed thing out because I need to call a supply. Yeah. Maybe for the moment they have replaced the answer. No, they haven't. Because the problem happened a minute ago. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix the problem. Thank you, Rose. 
Thank you very much. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you. Great conversation. Thank you, uh, Nelson and Rosa. Okay, so uh, Rosa, can you tell me a number from one to ten? It can be one, two, five, or eight. Okay, one, two, five, or eight. Five. Five. Okay, let's listen five. to Jancy. All right, Jancy. Jancy, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, who is your pair? Uh, Lisa. Okay. okay. Hi, Jancy. What problem happens to the printer? Oh, the paper has jammed. I should check it. Do you teams have maintenance? No, they check them every time. It's a give a problem. Uh, that's not uh, good. I should give it full maintenance. Ready? We saw that your problem. It's great. Okay. So it needs full maintenance. Oh my God, what a printer. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Uh, so fantastic. Good job. Okay, thank you. Nan uh, I was going to say Nancy Jancy and uh, and Gloria, right? Yes, okay. okay. Thank yeah. you very much. Good job, okay? So the, the sense of the conversation is very different of the conversation we had on the, on the manual, okay? But it's okay. It's perfect, okay? Thank you very much. Good. So let's see. Uh, Jancy, can you tell me a number? It can be either one or two. Only one or two. Which number? Uh, two. Sorry? <laughs> two. Okay, let's see, Miguel. Here's the show. All right, who is your pair? Mayra. Okay. Milan. Go ahead. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, Miguel? Hello, Mayra. Well, I don't know. I have not signed it. Signed it. That's too bad. How about the keyboard? Have you checked the language? Yes, I have. And we showed that technician have checked it too. We have not verified the rest of co worker. Bernard has had the same problem with his equi equipment. Yeah, I hear that. Has the IT support checked your credentials? No, they haven't. I opened the ticket to review the problem. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix the, this problem. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you very much. Okay, great conversation. Good. And uh, maybe uh, just two observations from Ida. Uh, the, the, the past participle of the verb check is the pronunciation is checked. Checked. Okay. It's not check it. Okay. It's checked. Checked with checked. Okay. With ED. And, um, I heard, okay, you say, you don't say I hear, you say I heard. Oír en pasado participio is heard, heard, I heard, okay? Not hear, okay? Yeah. Okay, very good, thank you. All right, thank you very much. Good, uh, so let's listen to the last pair. So the last pair is Angela. So Angela, are you ready? Yes, teacher. With Osmir, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, please, all right. We are all ears. Okay. Hello. Good evening, Mr. Osmin. Having I done the English homework, the teacher left us. Uh, hello. Good evening, Angie. Uh, this is true. I have not finished my homework yet. I have lost my English study manual. Oh, that bad. Mr. Rosman, the teacher is going to school us if we haven't finished when we return to his class. We must hurry and finish. Yeah, of course. Thank you very much. See you in class. 
the bear, the last we are fit. See you, Mr. Osmin. Thank you. Okay. Fantastic. I like the conversation. Okay. Uh, you didn't have a yeah. problem with the with the equipment, right? You didn't have a uh, we are missing Florent Rafael, right? Okay, hold on. So for a moment. You didn't have a problem with the with the equipment, okay? But you had a problem with the homework, okay? And yes, I am going yeah. to scold you. You see, we are regañarlo si no lo han hecho, okay? I am going to scold you, okay? Um, <laughs> okay, uh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank, thank you. you for your conversation. So, uh, congrats, congratulations, good job. So, let's listen to the last pair. I'm sorry, Rafael. So, Rafael and Flor, right? Yes, okay, go ahead. Adelante. Hello, Flor. I have had problems with my computer these days. Hello, Rafael. How bad? What has been the problem? The computer wants to run. Have you verified it is connected? Yes, I have. Mm, have you changed the battery? No, I haven't. Since uh, what year has uh, the battery been used? I don't remember, but I have used it for many years. It is all. I think you should buy a new battery or I recommend buy a new computer for the cost. I can't buy a new computer. I buy the battery. <laughs> No, that was that. Yeah, definitely. Right. It's too expensive. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. Very good. So uh, thank mm -hmm. you very much for and Rafael. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Thank you very much. Okay. For uh, presenting. Yeah. So um, I want to say for everyone, for everybody. Okay. For everybody. I really liked your conversation. So thank you very much for making the conversations and for having the courage to present to the class. Okay. So thank you very much. Good. Okay. And now let's go to today's topic. Okay. Ahora sí vamos al tema de hoy. Let's go to today's topic. So for today's topic, we have idiomatic expressions or idiomatic phrases, right? Yeah. So let's start with the uh, let's start with a question with two questions. Okay. With two discussion questions. And the questions we have are the following. Let me show you here. And hold on a second. Give me a minute here. So the questions we have are these. So question number one is, uh, do you often get sick? What is sick? What is sick? Enfermo, enfermo, enfermo. So get sick, get sick es enfermarse. So do you often get sick? Con frecuencia o a menudo te enfermas? Do you often get sick? What are the... Yes. What are the procedures to report a work absence? So when you don't go to work, when you don't go to work, what is the procedure to report that? Maybe you can say, oh, uh, maybe you have to fill up, a, you have to complete or fill out a form. You have to call the, your, the supervisor or the manager. I don't know. All right. So please answer the two questions quickly. Do you often get sick? You say, yes, I do or no, I don't. What are the procedures to report a work absence? And then you, you talk about the procedures, okay? Maybe like two or three steps, okay? Dos or tres pasos, two or three steps, okay? Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. So let's take like three minutes to answer the questions. The questions are on page 33, okay? Las preguntas están en la página 33, page 33. Only three minutes to answer, okay? Three minutes only.
In number one, you only say, yes, I do or no, I don't, okay? In number one. Page 33, teacher. Yes. Page 33. You almost have three minutes, okay? So I'll give you one more minute. Le voy a dar un minuto más. I'll give you one more minute, okay? In the second question, what are the procedures uh, to report a work absence, okay? You can write like two or three procedures, okay? No more. Two or three procedures. For example, you can say uh, to call my manager or I call my manager or I complete a form, I fill out a form, okay? Or I send a permission, I send an email, I don't know, okay? I send a message, all right, a WhatsApp message. So only three steps, okay? Two or three steps, dos o tres pasos, two or three steps. When you have a work absence, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect.
Okay, I'm sorry, I can give you more time. Okay, so if you have one or two steps, you can uh, say the one or two steps you have. Okay, no problem, yeah? So don't worry. Or if you want, I am going to pass the attendance in this moment, okay? So um, while I pass the attendance, okay, while I pass the attendance, you can finish, okay? Good, so let me pass the attendance quickly. Ada Patricia? Present. Adriana? Present. Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Asalia Melanie? Oh, she's connected, I think, but she's only listening. Darwin? Present, teacher. Very good. Flor? Present. Gloria? Here. Very good. Carla? Present. Maria? Margarita? Okay, Margarita? <laughs> Maria, me dijo. No, I said, I said the things that I skip your name. Me salté tu nombre, okay? I didn't call you. Uh, is this, uh, present. All right. Uh, now, Maria? She said present, right? Okay. Mayra? Present. Nelson? Present. Ophelia? Good teacher. All right. Osmin? Present teacher. Very good. Rafael? Present. Rosa? Rose? Yes, sir. Okay. Sandra? Sandra? Oh, yes, right. Present teacher. Okay, Present, Jancy? Teacher. Jancy? Present. And, and in Zulma? Present. And Miguel. Present. Okay, and Miguel. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Now, uh, let's see. I want to listen to five participations, okay? Five participations answering the questions, okay? So do we have volunteers? Voluntarios? Do we have volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, Angela. So, Angela, do you often get sick? Uh, no, I don't get sick. You don't get sick. Oh, my God. You have very good defenses. Okay, let's see. Question yes. number two. What are the procedures to report a work absence in your company? Uh, in my company, at my work, first call to the report the situation. Then present a medical certificate. 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 Okay. You present a medical certificate. All right. Excellent. So yes. it means that you can, uh, the only reason for not going to work is to get sick. The only reason, the only reason for not going to work is to get sick. That's the only reason. Es la única razón. Yes. Uh, yes. In, uh, no, eh, por ejemplo, si uno va a faltar por alguna otra razón que no sea por enfermarse, en mi caso. Yes. Uh, eh, for, for situation in, in my daughter, in the school. At school, yeah. At school, uh, meeting, for example, eh, um, okay, uh, you say great delivery. What is the procedure in this case? What is the procedure uh, in this case? Uh, I call in uh, my wife to inform, inform, I tell. Sobre, uh, I tell um, or I, you can say is, I explain my situation. I explain, I explain the situation. I explain my, my situation um, for telephone. Okay. In, in no, 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 it's problem. Okay, in, so you don't have to present a permission or something, something physical. 
No? No, no. no. Not necessary. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, thank uh -huh. you. Thank you very much, Angela. I appreciate thank your participation. You, thank you. So do we have more volunteers? Me, Who said me? No. A, a boy said no. me, I think, before. Osmin? Osmin, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, Osmin yes. and then Flor. Right. Osmin, uh, so do you often get sick? Uh, rarely. Rarely. Okay. No what are the procedures to report a work absence in your company? Uh, first, first, ask the boss for permission. For permission, okay. Uh, fill out the permission. Left. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. So you have to present a permission. Right. Yes. Okay, thank you, Osmin. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's listen to Flor. Okay, Flor, um, do you often get sick, Flor? Yes, I do. Okay, so uh, what are the procedures uh, to report a work absence? In my case, uh, first of all, my boss. Second, Continue. second call, call my to work team and yeah. finally to human resources. Okay, very, so you report human resources? Yes. Okay, very good. But do you have to present a permission or something? Um, no. No, it's not necessary. Only call. <laughs> You only, yeah. okay, call. All right, thank you, Flor. Thank you very much. Only cut. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Okay, do we have another participation? No more participations for Me, this activity? Teacher, Carla. Carla, okay, Carla, uh, do you often get sick? Okay. In my case, I don't get sick often, but okay. when I need to, uh, when I need to present a disability, only need to send an email or send a text messenger. Text message. Um, but my uh, my line ma yeah text message. My line manager only says, "Okay, no problem. Uh, take uh, all time. Do you need?" Inclusive, no, even, even, <laughs> even, even when I need to go at the veterinary, only send a text messenger, no problem. I don't know why I like your company. I like the company where you work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in my company I... is, is a different process yeah. because it's a multinational multinational company mm. my line manager is is in costa rica oh. and human resource are in panama in panama all right that's so, the way so they are they are very <laughs> yes. they are they are very flexible <laughs> okay thank you yes. thank but, but but when i but but when I need work uh, overtime, to work overtime. And they don't pay overtime. It's flex, it's flex. Yes, but it's um, very fle flexible. Flexible, flexible. flexible. And they schedule, flexible, oh, nice. flexible they schedule during the day. Okay, so do you work virtually or you go to a company or to, a, to an office? In an office, for example, uh, today I went to the office. Ah, okay, I see, okay. Uh, for person, okay. Documents. For sending inform some information. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. Thank you for your participation. Okay, thank you very much. Good. Uh, so only two questions, right? I know everybody answered the questions. Unfortunately, not everybody has the chance to participate, okay? So, but you answer, okay? So thank you very much for that effort. Good. Now, 
Uh, for the next activity, as always, as always on every class, we have a conversation. But this conversation is so different, okay? This conversation is very different, not like the others, okay? So listen. On this conversation, we have some idiomatic expressions, okay? Yeah? So listen to the pronunciation, please. So listen to the pronunciation carefully. So I will start with Mr. Reese, okay? Good morning, this is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese, this is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani, tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, oh really? There is something going around. Something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I'm in tip top shape. I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Johnny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Riz. Have a nice rest of the day. Listen, like, listen again to the pronunciation and pay attention carefully. Good morning, this is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese, this is Johnny. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny, tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Johnny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Just like Carla's boss, very flexible, right? Mr. Reese is very flexible, okay? Very good. Now let's pay attention to some vocabulary, okay? Let's pay attention to the first question here. Check this out, okay? Check this out. What's the matter? What's the matter is like when you say, what's the problem, okay? What's the problem or what's going on, okay? What's the matter? You say, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. My stomach is killing me. That means I have a stomachache. Quiere decir que tengo un gran dolor de estómago, right? Mi estómago me está matando. My stomach is killing me, all right? And then I continue. I'm as sick as a dog. How do you say this in Spanish? I'm as sick as a dog. Estoy tan enfermo como un perro. Estoy tan enfermo como un perro. Okay, I am as sick as a dog. Estoy tan enfermo como un perro. But I said, right? Uh, the idea here is to study idioms or idiomatic expressions. And I say, that idioms are not translated literally. No son traducidos literalmente, okay? So what comes to your mind? ¿Qué traducción le podríamos dar? I'm as sick as a dog. Estoy súper enfermo. Estoy súper enfermo. Estoy muy enfermo. Yeah, it's correct. Es correcto. No voy a decir estoy tan enfermo como un perro, right? Right? No, right? You say estoy muy enfermo. I'm as sick as a dog, all right? Good. Let's continue. Okay, I understand. Two days ago... I was feeling under the weather too. How do you say this in Spanish? I was feeling under the weather too. Literally, literalmente sería... Estoy en el mismo clima. Yo también. Yo también, como decir yo también, right? Yo también. If you say literally, si lo decimos literalmente, tendría, podría decir, me estaba sintiendo debajo del clima también. también. But it doesn't make sense, right? Pero no tiene sentido, it doesn't make sense. So, under the weather is a little sick, un poco enfermo, okay? It's similar to say, I was a little sick too. I was feeling a little sick too. Me estaba sintiendo un poco enfermo también. I was feeling a little sick too, okay? Under the weather. Oh, really? There is something going around. There is something going around. How do you say this in Spanish? Hay algo, algo, 
Hay algo alrededor. Hay algo dando vueltas. Hay, hay, algo... hay un virus. No, hay, un... En el... exactly. hay un virus en el aire. <risa> yes, it's like hay algo circulando o dando ah. vueltas, ¿ok? Circulando o sí. dando vueltas. So it's a virus probably, ¿ok? Yeah. By the context is a virus, ¿ok? Por, yeah. por el contexto podemos decir que es un virus que anda rondando, que anda yeah. ahí en el aire, ¿ok? So there's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Now listen to this. I'm in tip-top shape. What is that? Listen, the question is, I hope you are feeling better. Espero que te estés sintiendo mejor. And Mr. Reese says, oh yeah, I'm in tip-top shape. What is that? No, que me estoy sintiendo mejor. Me estoy sintiendo mejor. Any other translation? Otra traducción? I'm in tip-top shape. Ah, me estoy poniendo en forma, no sé. Ah, estoy en una buena condición o estoy, estoy en, en buena forma. condición, en buena forma. Ok, so that ah. means I'm not sick anymore. Significa bueno, que ya no está enfermo, que ya está bien. I'm in tip-top tip -top shape, ok. Ah. Yes. So in my case, in this moment, I'm in tip-top shape. I'm not sick. Yo no estoy enfermo, I'm not sick, ok. Take it easy. Okay. Take it easy. What is take it easy? <laughs> Tranquila. 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 Tómalo con calma, Yanni. Con Tómalo calma, con calma. Yanni. Yes. Take it easy. Tómalo con calma, Yanni. ¿Ok? Yes, I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Rees. Have a nice rest of the day. Good. That's excellent. So we have different um, words here. So listen to the pronunciation again. Good morning. This is Mr. Rees. Hello, Mr. Rees. This is Yanni. I have a situation. Hi, Yanni. Tell me. What's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Johnny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Rees. Have a nice rest of the day. Rosa versus Carla. Rosa, Mr. Rees. Jani, Carla. Okay. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, thank you, girls. Thank you very much. Okay, so now let's listen to Mayra and Miguel. Mayra and Miguel. So, Miguel, you are Mr. Reese. Mayra, you are Johnny. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Johnny. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There are some things going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip top shape. Take it easy. Jenny, I hope, I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Harris. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's listen to Rafael and, and, and Margarita. Rafael, you are Mr. Reese and Margarita, you are Janet. I agree. Yes, you are Mr. Reese and Margarita okay. is Janet. Good morning. Okay. Good morning, this is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Janet. I have a situation. 
Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip-top shape. Take it, take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of, of the day. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, only three participations to check participation. Okay, now two questions. Okay, question number one Why can't Jani go to work? Why can't Jani go to work? Por qué no puede ir a trabajar, Jani? Why can't Jani go to work? Yes. Because she has a stomach ache. Okay, because yeah. she is as sick as a dog. <laughs> she has a stomach ache. Her stomach is killing her. Okay, her stomach is killing her. And she is as sick as a dog. Number two, how does Mr. Reese respond to Jani's situation? ¿Cómo responde? Mr. Reese, how does Mr. Reese respond to Jani's situation? He understands because he was on the weather, under the ah, weather. Ah, that's right. <laughs> he he understands the situation because he was under he was the weather under too. The weather too. <laughs> he was under the weather too. That means he was a little sick too. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now listen. Um, I will stop sharing here for a moment. Okay. Look, I will explain the vocabulary, but I want you to pay a lot of attention here. And when, when I finish explaining the vocabulary, we are going to play a game, okay? We are going to play a game. Vamos a jugar un juego, vamos a hacer un juego. But pay attention carefully to the meaning of the vocabulary. Pongan atención cuidadosamente al significado del vocabulario. Pay attention carefully, okay? Agree? De acuerdo? Yes? Okay. All right. Okay. Yes, now let me, all right. Let me show you here. Okay, listen up. Uh, so here I have some vocabulary. And in the vocabulary, okay, hold on a second. Okay, here. Good. So in the vocabulary, I have some um I have some phrases, okay? Uh, the phrase number one is sickness. All right. Phrase number one is sickness. Sickness is, what is sickness? Enfermedad. Enfermedad, sickness, right? Maybe you can say, I have a sickness or illness. That is the same. The, the, the second word is procedures. Procedures, okay? And procedures is procedimientos. Like, what is the procedure to report a work absence, right? What is the procedure to report a work absence, okay? Then we have absence. Absence is ausencia. Absence, right? You can say, for example, um, I had an absence yesterday. Okay? What's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema? What's like, the what's the matter? Like, maybe you see your coworker is bad. Tal vez miran que su compañero de trabajo se está sintiendo mal y le dicen, hey, what's the matter? What's the matter? Like, what's, what's the, the problem? Matter? Yes? The And probably your coworker will say, I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I am as sick as a dog. Or maybe your coworker will say, I am under the weather. I am under the weather. Okay, kill. Kill is matar. My stomach is killing me. Mi estómago me está matando. My stomach is killing me, right? Or you can say, My head. My head is killing me. Mi cabeza me está matando. That means you have a headache. Quiere decir que tienes un dolor de cabeza. Or you can say, My, my back. Mi espalda, my back is killing me, all right? So you can use any part of the body. Pueden usar cualquier parte del cuerpo, yeah? Be as sick as a dog. Muy enfermo o super enfermo, somebody said, right? So uh, maybe if you're very sick, if you feel really bad, you say, oh, Bernardo, I am as sick as a dog. I am as sick as a dog, okay? Next, feel under the weather. Sentirte un poco mal de salud, sentirte un poco enfermo, okay? 
So I feel under the weather today, you can say, I feel under the weather today. Me siento un poco enfermo hoy. So, question. Uh, who feels under the weather today? ¿Quién se siente? Who feels under the weather today? Who? I. <laughs> who? No, nobody. Me. Who said me? ¿Quién dijo yo? Who said me? Maria. Maria feels under the weather today. I'm sorry about that, Maria. All right? Good. Uh, now let's continue. Um, so this, uh, this is the first vocabulary, but I have more. Yo tengo, ma tengo más por acá. I have more here. Good. So the second list is this. Okay. And in the next one, I have in tip top shape. That means en buena condición. I am in tip top shape. That means I am not sick. Yo no estoy enfermo. So if I am not sick, I am in tip top shape. Okay. Take it easy. Ah, tómalo con calma, tómalo tranquilo. Okay, take it easy. Go around. Circular. There is something going around. Ah, look at this. This is, this is important. Call in sick. Call in sick. In llamar para decir que se está enfermo. Call in sick. So you can say, for example, today or, or maybe tomorrow, you can say tomorrow, I am not going to work. Tomorrow, I am not going to work. I am going to call in sick in the morning. I am going to call in sick in the morning. Voy a llamar para decir que estoy enfermo en la mañana. I am going to call in sick in the morning. Calling sick. Llamar para decir que se está enfermo, okay? And the last one, el último. This is the most difficult, perhaps. Tal vez este es el más difícil. Be up in one's ears. It's an idiom, okay? Be up in one's ears. Estar muy ocupado. So maybe you have a lot of work. Tienen muchos reportes que entregar. So you say, I am up in my ears. I am up in my ears. En vez de decir once, puedo usar my, or his, or her. Cualquier pronombre posesivo, okay? So imagine Rosa is very busy these days. Imagínense que Rosa está muy ocupada estos días. And I say, okay, Rosa, I can see you are, I say you are up in your ears these days. You are up in your ears these days, okay? Estar muy ocupada. So you are very busy, okay? So do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No questions? No. Okay, please, make a screenshot of this vocabulary. Hazle una captura de este vocabulario, por favor. Make a screenshot of this vocabulary. Ready? Make a screenshot to the vocabulary, please. Yes. 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 Are you listos? Yes. Very good. Yes. Now, ahora, now, listen. Here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You have 12 phrases. Aquí tenemos 10 palabras o frases, okay? 12, perdón. We have 12, 12 phrases or words, okay? Listen. On your notebook, en su cuadernito, de notas, si tienen uno por ahí o páginas, no sé en qué están tomando notas, van a dibujar un cuadrito similar a este. Este cuadrito, this chart, this chart contains 12 spaces. Este cuadrito contiene 12 espacios. It has 12 spaces, ¿ok? What are you going to do? Va a escribir una de las frases que vimos en cada espacio. For example, here. You say, ah, here I am going to write sickness. And then you continue with the others, right? So you need to complete all the spaces with the vocabulary. Necesitan completar todos los espacios con el vocabulario, okay? So do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No? Una frase para cada cuadrito, okay? En su cuaderno, on your notebook, okay? Clear? Está claro? Are you clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's do it right now. Hagámoslo ahorita entonces. So complete it, please. Complétenlo, hagan el cuadrito. Si gustan, no hagan el cuadrito, solo escriban las palabras, pero en ese orden del cuadrito, ¿ok? El cuadrito es de 4 por 3. 4 de alto y de 3 de ancho, ¿ok? 4 por 3. No importa el orden. No, the order doesn't matter. The idea is that you write them disorganized, by the way. La idea es que okay. las escriban desordenadas. Okay. The idea is that you write them disorganized, okay? 
I'm sorry I didn't say it. Lo siento por no haberlo dicho. So write them all disorganized. Todas desordenadas, all disorganized, okay? Las vamos a poner en cada cuadrito. Yes, one for each space. Una para cada espacio. One for each space. Las que nos acaba de dar, tengo dos cuadritos. Yes. Okay. Ahí hay 12 palabras en ese vocabulario que le di. Y el cuadrito que les presenté tiene dos espacios. So, one phrase for each space. Una frase para cada espacio. One phrase or word for each space. Okay. When you finish, please go to reactions and raise your hand, okay? Cuando terminen, vayan a reacciones y levanten la mano, por favor. Go to reactions and raise your hand. Everybody, todos háganlo, por favor. Porque todos necesitan haber terminado para que hagamos la actividad. Everybody needs to finish to do the activity, okay? So I can see Ana, Michelle, Rosa, Rafael, and Margarita finished, okay? Thank you very much for raising your hand. Adriana finished and Sandra finished too. Okay, thank you. Show me your notebook, Ana Michelle, I want to see it. Uh, show me like, <laughs> put it on the camera, I want to see it. Oh yeah, it's correct. Rosa, can you show me your notebook please? I want to see it. <laughs> it's not that I don't believe it. Yeah, I see it, Ana Michelle, thank you. Rosa? Can you show me your notebook, please? Can you show me your chart? It's not that I don't believe you, okay? I just want to see your chart. Oh yeah, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> no ruler, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> All right, thank you, Rosa. Adriana, can you show me your chart? Let me see, let me see, Adriana. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Casi right. no se ve. Yeah, I, uh, yeah it's, I can see it a little. Con okay, lápiz. Ah, okay, good. Carla, ah, no, no Carla sé. hasn't finished. Margarita, can you show me yours? <laughs> Let me see your chart. Oh, yeah, it's okay. All right, it's correct. It's correct. Jancy, show me yours, please. I want to see yours, Jancy. Let me see your notebook, please. Let me see your, your chart. Yes, okay, put it like this. I want to see your chart. Quiero ver cómo quedó. I want to see how it looks. Oh. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay. I just want to, to, it's not that I don't believe in you, right? I just want to make sure it's, it's well done, okay? 
So let me see. Um, yeah, Rafa finished too, right? Okay. Mayra, still working? Aún trabajando, still working? Are you finished? Vayan a reacciones y levantan la mano si terminaron, por favor, para ver quién es, para ver los que ya terminaron todos. To see everyone finished. Carla, you finished? Angela? Yes, I finished. Okay, go to reactions, please, and raise your hand. Vayan a reacciones. Sandra? Ada, did you finish? Ophelia? Yes, I guess everyone finished. Okay, very good. That's excellent. Okay, thank you very much. Now listen, it's time to play. We are going to play bingo. Have you ever played bingo? ¿Alguna vez han jugado bingo? Have you ever played bingo? Yes, it's yes. True. Yes, okay, very good. Now listen, this game is very simple. Look. The idea is that I will I will say that I will say some phrases, okay? Phrases you have on your chart. Frases que tienen en su cuadrito. So listen. If you complete um, one column vertically, si completan una vertical, you say bingo, all right? Bingo, Bernardo. So please, if, if, imagine I say, imagine here you have sickness. Imagine here you have sickness. Imagínense que aquí tienen sickness. Y yo digo, sickness. Ustedes van a hacer una cruz a esa palabra. You cross it out. Okay? Yes. Yes? <laughs> And imagine yeah. here you have yeah. what? As sick as, imagine, imagínense, imagine here you have as sick as a dog, okay? And I say, okay, be as sick as a dog. And you, then you cross it out. Si la escuchan, le hacen una cruz, okay? When you complete one column, you say, bingo, teacher. Bingo, Bernardo. The same. If you complete one horizontally, si completan una de forma horizontal, you say, bingo, Bernardo. Bingo, all right? Yeah? Right. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. yes. Are you yes. ready? Yes. Okay, yes. let's start. Yes. Let's start. Empecemos. Let's start. Number one. Oh, hold on a second. Oh my God, I don't find the, I have the picture here. Okay. Number one, in tip top shape. Be in tip top shape. Be in tip top shape. Number two, take it easy. Take it easy. Number three, absence. Absence. Next, what's the matter? What's the matter? <laughs> Me too. Almost bingo. Next, next. Um, let me see. Um, Procedures, procedures, Gosh. procedures. <laughs> Next, feel Teacher, under. Next, <laughs> sorry. Feel on the word. Sorry, Rafa. Rafa, three for three. Sorry, no. ¿se vale? Cuatro por tres. Cuatro por tres. Cuatro por tres. Por cuatro. Yes. No, I mean, we can complete only horizontally or vertically, but not dia diagonally. Di diagonal no se vale. Okay, diagonal no se vale. Diagonally is not possible, okay? Only vertic vertically or horizontally, okay? Okay. Okay, let's carry on. Feel okay. under the weather. Feel under the weather. No bingos? No, no. only one. Only one. <laughs> You're waiting for one. Next. Go around. Bingo teacher. Bingo, bingo, okay, bingo, let's see. We have how many bingos? Rosa, Adriana, and Bingo. Rosa and Adriana. Okay, let yes. me let me take notes. Bingo. Bingo, bingo. Rosa and Adriana, bingo, right? Maria too. And Maria too. Uh -huh. Maria has a bingo too. All right, yes. very good. That's excellent. Let's continue. Yeah. 
Um, the next one is kill. Kill. Bingo. Bingo. Who said bingo? bingo. <laughs> yes. yes. Who said bingo, Adriana? Bingo again. Bingo. Angela. Uh, Angela is saying bingo, I think. Angela, right? Sandra. Ah, Sandra. Ah. Es que se escucha bien lejos la voz. Okay, Sandra, right? Sandra is saying bingo, right? Very good, Sandra. Excellent. Next. Siguiente. Be as sick as a dog. Bingo. Okay, bingo. Maria is saying bingo. Maria. Yeah. Maria and, bingo again. and Rosa, bingo again. <laughs> and Darwin, bingo. Very good. Only three bingos, all right. Sulma, Let's go to bingo. the... And Sulma, right? Sulma is saying bingo too. Let's see the next. Colin Sick. Bingo. Bingo. Adriana. Bingo. Adriana, Michelle. Bingo teacher. Maria, Miguel. Miguel. Bingo. Now we have more. And who else? Sandra, we have more bingos right now. Very good. Thank you. Next. Be up bingo. in one's ears. Be up in one's ears. Bingo. Bingo, 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 bingo. bingo, bingo. Only one. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Only one. Bingo. Let me see bingo. which one. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Well, falta which one. Ah. Sick, sick. Colin, Colin sick. Colin no, sick. Yeah, I said. Okay. Sickness. Okay. Sickness. 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 Yes. Bingo, sickness. Bingo, 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 bingo. All right, bingo. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Okay, very good. So I said them all, right? Ya les dije todas. I said them all. Yes. 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 Very yeah. good. So listen. Um, the idea is not only to play. The idea is to listen to the words because you were focused listening, right? Estaban enfocados escuchando. You were focused listening. So the idea is to practice the vocabulary, okay? Very good. Now, now that you have the, the vocabulary, I have some questions for you, okay? Um, what is, don't check your notebook, okay? Don't check your notebook. What is sickness? What is sickness? What is, what is procedures? Procedures. Procedimientos. Procedimientos, very good. So process and procedures is different, right? Next, what is absence? Ausencia. 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 Excellent. Ausencia. What is what's the matter? What's the problem? Very good. What is kill? Matar. 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 Yeah. Very good. What is be <laughs> as sick as a dog? Muy enfermo. Be as sick as a dog. Feel under the weather? Un poco enfermo, we'll say, all right? So listen, we have a difference between as sick as a dog right. and feel under the weather. As sick as a dog is very sick. Es muy serio, okay? Muy enfermo. And under the weather is a little sick, okay? Es un poco enfermo nada más. It's a little sick, okay? So it's different. Uh, what is in tip-top shape? In tip-top shape. Sentirse bien en forma. Sentirse bien, en buena condición. Very good. What is take it easy? Tomárselo con calma. Tomárselo con calma. Tómatelo con calma. Tómatelo con calma. Take it easy. All right, very good. Go around. Go around. There is something going around. Go around. What is go around? Circular. 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 There is something circular. going around. Circular. Yes. Call in sick. Call in sick. What is call in sick? So what is call in sick? Llamar para porque está enfermo. Ah, llamar para decir que estoy enfermo. Call in sick. Llamar okay. porque está enfermo. Llamar para llamar decir que estás enfermo. Está I am enfermo. going to call in sick. Very good. And the last one, el último. Be in one's, be up in one's ears. Estar muy ocupado. Estar muy ocupado. So if you say, si tú dices, I am up, um, I am up in my ears. I am up in my ears. That means I am very busy. Estoy muy ocupado. I am up in my ears. Hey, help me with this homework, please. Ayúdame con esta tarea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you say. I am up in my ears. 
what you say? Es, lo siento, estoy muy ocupado. I, I am not in say, my ears. Can I say, Rosa? Can I say, can I say today I'm going to be in up? Be in up? No. Yeah? Be up. Be up be in up my ears. In my ears. Can yes, I say that's today right. I'm yes. going to be in my ears? Yes, today I am going to be up in my ears. In my ears. In uh -huh. my ears, yes. Voy a estar muy ocupado. I am going to be up in my ears. Don't It's call okay. me because today I'm going to be up in my ears. <laughs> exactly, that's correct. Es correcto, that's correct. Okay, everyone. Now, together, let's go to one activity here. This activity is about the idioms or the idiomatic expressions, okay? So the idea is that you match the, these meanings, okay? This is on page 34, it's in the page 34. Okay, here you have some idioms, okay? Aquí tienen algunos idioms or algunas frases idiomáticas. You have some idioms, okay? Okay, hold on a second. Here, on this space, en este espacio tienen algunos idioms, okay? Los que hemos estudiado ahorita, the ones we have studied. The idea is that here you have some definitions. Aquí hay algunas definiciones. You need to put the correct idiom next to the definition, okay? Let's see number one. My stomach hurts badly. What is the idiom? Mm. Mi estómago me duele mucho. My stomach hurts badly. My stomach is killing me. Ah, my stomach is killing me. All right, so in number one is my stomach is killing me. My stomach is killing me, all right? So continue with number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this is on page number 34. It's in the page 34. Do you want to work in pairs? ¿Quieren trabajar en parejas? Do you want to work in pairs? Yes? Yes or no? No, you don't want to work in pairs today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, okay, let's yes, go to work in pairs, okay? Thank It's you. on page 34. It's in the page 34, okay? Page number 34, okay? Okay, let's go to work in pairs then. Vamos a trabajar en parejas entonces. Let's go to work in pairs. Eh. Hi, chicas. Hello. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Number one. My stomach. My stomach. My stomach hurts badly. Sorry, yeah. solo voy a estar viviendo. Ajá, uh -huh, my stomach is killing me. My stomach is killing me. Yes. The second, <clears throat> to be very sick. What? Be as sick as a dog. Yes. Okay. As sick as a dog. Uh, Melanie? Three, to relax the wrist. Uh, to relax, to rest, um, take, take, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, yes, take it easy, not, not feeling well, Uh -huh. Uh -huh, Angela. 
Under the water too. Under the water too. Yes. Uh, uh, let me see. Idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, under the water too. In great condition. Uh, in great condition. Uh, Tip top shape. Yes. Yes. Tip top shape. Uh, don't have time. Time to. Don't have. Don't have. Don't have time, don't have time to. to. Here's. Here is. Um, can I can afford to be teacher? Can afford to. Uh huh. Can afford to. Can afford to. Afford is darse el lujo. Afford. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Like, for example, you can say, I, I can afford to go to the. What? I can afford to go to San Salvador today. No puedo darme el lujo de ir a San Salvador hoy. It means I have no time, right? Ah, okay. okay. Yes. <laughs> Okay, many people have the same thing. Angela? Uh, um, cinco es la, la cuatro. La cuatro. Sí, la número dos es la uno. Es la uno. La tres es la cinco. La cuatro es la dos. La cinco es la ocho, la seis, ¿es la seis? La seis, la seis. Sí, la siete es la tres uh -huh. y la ocho es la siete. La siete. Sí, 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 sí las pudo copiar. Sí, ajá. Vaya. Es, de, es, el, es el, como el mismo significado, pero en otras palabras, digamos. Uh -huh. Usted puede decir, my stomach hurt badly, badly, or puede decir, my stomach is killing me. Uh -huh. O puede decir, to be very sick, o puede decir, as sick as a dog. Ok. Are you understand, Ophelia? Es la, uh, I think is X, no sé cómo se pronuncia. ¿Cuál? La 5 es Take It Easy. 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 Ahora todo de un solo. Take It Easy. Take It Easy. Take It Easy. Take It Easy. Ajá, uh -huh. take it Otra que no la puedo pronunciar. Ah, uh, quiero ver. Es, I can, I, I can no, I for, 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 ah, no sé. La C, 